Pickens, were you? I was at the temple chanting mantras for the purification of my existence. Wow! You must really be into it, aren't you? Sam! Almost a stud in the back of our kita! The back of the bad jata? So what's that? One of your texts? Yeah, written in the ancient Sanskrit language 5,000 years ago. You really found something to chew on there. Why don't you chew on this apple instead? Come on, Mark. I'm really excited about this. The Bhagavad Gita speaks about the existence of spiritual consciousness. Oh, hey, Mark. Listen to this. As the embodied soul continually passes in this body from boyhood to youth to old age, so similarly passes into another body at death. The self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a change. Well, I have heard of anti-matter. Right, things in the material world, they come and they go, but anti-matter stays the same, it's permanent. I don't believe it! This goes against everything I've ever been taught! Why don't you seek your teeth into this coconut instead? <laughs> Come on, Mark, be serious. In school, we were taught that everything is genetic code. I'm gonna stand with that. Is your genetic code? No! 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 The genetic code. It's just a mechanism that ensures that your cells change in a uniform way. But does it explain who you are? Does it explain your continuing identity? So what you're saying is that my body is matter and that I am anti-matter? Exactly. The body grows because the anti-material particle is present. But if that particle wasn't there, then the body would decompose. Just like a tomato. I so happen to have in my hand. That's quite a theory we're eating up here. Why don't we take a bite out of this tomato, right? Hmm. But doesn't the Vedic culture stop you from going to birthday parties and listening to rock concerts? <laughs> You know what? I'll take my freedom instead. I don't need rules. I have my freedom. Sometimes at the temple, we even have mantra rock music. <laughs> well, what about the ladies? Oh yes, I enjoy the company of good women, but only under the regulative principles of the Vedic culture. Regulative principles are the principles of freedom! All right! I've seen how you have so easily given up sense gratification by following the Vedic culture. I shall also give up gratifying my senses and direct my devotion towards Lord Krishna. At the temple, the monks were traditional robes, like dhoti and kurta. Some 
I'm also free to choose how I dress, sing the blues, put on my kicks, and preach to these chicks, daddy-o. <laughs> but as a congregational member, sometimes I wear trousers and a shirt. Mark, mumbo with me.